Hello and welcome back to the channel, and today we have a couple of things to talk about in this video, but first, if you missed my last video, if you didn't get a notification or something, check it out now at the link that pops up, and that one includes the latest lies from Nick Cannon's associate about Eminem, so check it out if you haven't, and now we'll start with Exhibit, showing off something he got for Christmas, to add to his collection of plaques, and towards the latter part of this video, I have a message for Eminem fans who are active on Twitter, so if you're on that platform, stick around for that. One. Just in time for Christmas, some more plaques came in. Got that fat Joe, got that eight mile, and the rest of them are hung up already. Yeah, the big daddy just showed up. Eminem, Marshall Mathers, 10 times platinum diamond. He did that. Yeah. Uh -huh. Merry Christmas, buddy. Notice how it's those that have never earned a single plaque in the music industry that are first to talk about how sales don't matter, the likes of El Jamar, and when it comes to Eminem, this is so disingenuous because everyone at this point with a device to connect to the internet know how highly respected Eminem is by his peers. We are not talking about what kids on Twitter think, we are talking about what those that have actually achieved something for themselves in the industry think, like Jay, Rakim and others up there. So to turn around and say Eminem sales don't matter, knowing fully well that he's not considered to be some whack popster says a lot about the hate directed towards Eminem. Eminem is from an era when great rappers actually sold records, and I'm not talking about streams and all that made up equivalent sales mumbo jumbo, since most of these artists still complain about what they finally earn from streams. Not too long ago, we just found out that Spotify is owing Eminem publishers for songs like Lose Yourself among others. Others. And Lose Yourself is the most popular song from the 2000s era, just shows you how streams and actual sales so far are still not the same thing. So yeah, back then all the great rappers with some bars actually sold records and consumers valued music more, so to turn around now that people go platinum on streams and use this to judge Eminem's success just takes away from what this man and the likes of Park and Biggie were able to achieve. Add that to the fact that unlike pop stars, Eminem for the most part has singles that are far from being radio friendly and he's able to pull this off. I'm going off I know, but short answer is, sales do matter, especially when respect in the industry is present. Before we go off to the second part of this video, remember to hit the like button if you enjoy content like this, and if you're new here, also hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. So for a couple of dice, this picture has been online, and many online presumed that this was Eminem with a wig for what looks to be an 80s theme party. The photo was gotten from Eminem's daughter's profile on Instagram, Whitney Scott, and you can see the guy standing in the back. This one is quite hilarious because of the arguments I've seen on Twitter. Some believed it was Eminem and some others believed the opposite, and now we can all rest easy with this revelation. This is a close-up of the guy from the photo, so clearly that was an Eminem in the photo. All this is happening because of how Eminem is able to keep his personal life private, which creates the hunger as fans are always so eager to see new photos of Eminem. So as always, leave your thoughts below and if you have something to add to this, feel free to share it with us in the comments section. Now for those of you on Twitter, remember that you can follow me at eatalifestyle underscore web and for those active on that platform, you know that the Eminem hate on that platform from the loud minority went full swing in this holiday period. This is a time when people are the loneliest, those who couldn't spend the holidays with family and friends, which shows you that those that feel the need to slander Eminem online are mostly lonely people who are obsessed with Eminem even more than his biggest fans. To make up for the loneliness at this time of the year, they are trying to get attention online and I've seen some big Eminem fans on that platform engage with these people. So if you're a big fan and you're active on Twitter, I advise against engaging these people, especially at this time of the year. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't and see you on the next one.